Right here we are on the JCB uh, 2D. Uh, just taking off the outer cover of the big actuator. As you can see, she's uh, pretty poor condition. Um, you can see the high spots there where she's actually been touching, so it's just less than 30%, rough as hell. Should have been, should, this should be a machine surface, uh, similar to the surface on a, a disc, spray disc on a car, should be nice and smooth. But uh, there's the actuator for the uh, left hand brake. It's the independent brake from the JCB. And in there, that is the disc. It's a friction disc which is stuck on the splines. It moves, but it's stuck on the splines. It is uh, very smooth and rock hard. Um, there's not much left on it. The rivets are almost flush, but uh, that's how a JCB works. See, you just make it out. You can look, that's the disc, it's stuck on the splines, it is. That should slide out, but it's not. Uh, on the brake pedals, you've got two uh, brake pedals. Uh, if you take the latch out on the top there, you can independently brake left and right hand side. It's the handbrake there, which holds both on. When that latch pin is in. So um, I was hoping to pull this apart but uh, it's actually stuck on the splines, it's really dusty. The, the good thing about it is that it's dry so the transmission seals are good so it's a matter of getting this disc out which is moves but it's tight. Needs wiggling about quite a bit, but um, that was the problem with the JCB. It's no friction. That's why the old girl won't stop. And approaching the 710, you want good brakes. But um, as you can see, the hell of a state. This will have to be remachined or a replacement plate, even if I can get an older one. But uh, needs replacing. Uh, I'm guessing both sides are the same. Uh, so both need the same treatment. I'm going to fit softer compound uh, friction discs as an experiment on this machine. And uh, these machines have, are always known as poor brakes, but I'm going to try and improve it with my own modifications. So, uh, useful next time when I strip the uh, strip it out of the housing. As I, as I say, I can't move it at the moment. I tried to move it, but it's stuck on the splines with the dust so we'll have to wire brush it and put some um, probably brake cleaner than there just to free up the splines and that should pull out yeah the brake adjuster is down there so to adjust the brakes you disconnect that linkage there you pull the pin out on the side and the old actuator which is about the width of that comes out but when you think you got friction discs the same diameter as that to each side to stop a machine which is 7 ton which is not a lot really so uh, that's it for today I'm not doing any more uh, so till next time